Is that even straight there, bro? All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back. Today, I'm going to be going through a bunch of different things that you need to know as a fresher starting uni this September. Yeah, well, we're just going to go straight into it. Let's do this. Right, the first thing you need to know as a fresher going into uni this year is don't worry about your flatmates, okay? Don't worry about, like, making uh, the best of friends with your flatmates, okay? If they vibe with you, then they vibe with you. All is well, but if, they, if not, then don't worry about it. If you don't make friends with your flatmates, then you'll make friends with people on your course. If you don't make friends with people on your course, then it's going to be through societies. If it's not through societies, then it's through clubbing. If it's not through clubbing, then then go home. <laughs> you'll make friends at some point at university. There's so many different opportunities. Just don't hone down on, oh, my flatmates have to be my best friends. I have to get on with them. I have to tell them everything, this, that, whatever, right? It don't really matter. People always say as well to buy like a doorstop and so like on the first night and just introduce yourself and make sure the door's open so it's a bit more welcoming. Yeah, you don't really need a door stop, just prop your door open with something. It can be a shoe, it can be a coat, it can be a pillow. It can it can be it can be your earlobe, right? It can be whatever you want, just as long as the door's propped open. I, I, I didn't even do that. Once my parents left, I just went around and knocked onto one of my flatmates' doors and was just like, yeah, just fancy going in the kitchen, having a quick drink, uh, get to know each other, this, that and the other. But we went round into the flat next door and just met a bunch of people from the building and then they ended up all going out in Freshers Week and that was like my Freshers Week group, which isn't my group now because that's another thing. The groups that you meet in Freshers Week probably won't be your long-term uni group. It might be, you, you just don't know, which is why I'm saying don't put too much pressure on it. Just go with the flow and you'll vibe with the people that you're meant to vibe with. Right, secondly, uh, pre-drink to avoid spending money in clubs. Like you're gonna spend some money in clubs, but if you pre-drink a lot beforehand, then you'd be able to avoid like the extortionate prices that some clubs have. You will find clubs that aren't as expensive, but a lot of them will be charging a lot. And uh, we're, you're on a student budget now, okay? You can't, you can't just be spending here, there and everywhere which you probably will. But back to pre-drinking, it's, it's a different vibe at uni, okay? You'll play different games, especially with socials, with societies, all right? It's a whole different ball game, which in a good way. What was I even saying? So pre-drink hard, but don't go out absolutely plastered, okay? Don't be a liability to your friends before you've even left the house. This next one actually ties in with what I was just saying about being a bit of a liability to your mates if you're a bit too drunk. Don't cause any drama. All right, I've seen people at uni that will go above and beyond causing drama over absolutely nothing, all right? And we're all, well, is it, what is it now? 18, 18 plus now. So I'm, I'm 20 now, <laughs> jeez. <laughs> so we're, we're all old enough now, we're all adults. Nobody wants drama, no one's got time for it, okay? You're doing, you're doing uni, you're having fun, right? You're meeting new people, don't, just don't, just, just, just don't, just don't. Have designated shoes for clubbing, okay? Because they, they will get destroyed. They will get destroyed, okay? You'll never see me out in a club in my in my Air Jordans. Whatever shoes you go out in, they're gonna absolutely get destroyed by spilt drinks that are on the floor, right? Chewies that have just been left on the floor. It doesn't matter how good of the nightclub it is, okay? There's spillages everywhere and things like that. And you don't know what you're stepping in. I managed to get a fairly cheap pair of shoes that I just don't really care about. And I still go out in them now. Okay, make sure you've got a fancy dress. Uh, actually, no, 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 not just one fancy dress. You're gonna need about 50 fancy dresses. How student nights work is with societies, you've always got like a theme. So it could be like cartoon characters one week. It could be heroes and villains the next week, right? It could be pots and pans the week after. You don't really know. Primark is your best friend with that because you just can go through, get clothes. Like I said about the shoes before, you just get things that you really don't care about for really cheap that are, you can get destroyed if, if needs be. You know, if someone spills a drink on you, it's not going to ruin your night because you've gone out in your, like, Gucci t-shirt. It'll be completely random. I think in one of the weeks coming up, I'm going as Ben 10 and Donald Trump in the same week. Okay, this one, have a mattress topper. You won't be the first person that slept in that bed, and you don't know what the previous person was doing in that bed. Just be clean and get a mattress topper. This is probably the most popular, best bit of freshers advice if that made any sense join as many societies as you can in freshers week because you don't have to you don't have to follow through with it you don't have to pay your membership for it straight away if you decide to stick with the society then yeah you have to pay your membership but if you write your name down to go to a give it a go event or if you write your name down to go to a taster session whatever they call it wherever you are if you just go to that if you enjoy it stay on with it if you don't then you don't all right worst case scenario you'll meet new people there and that, again, goes back to meeting new people, see who you're vibing with, this, that, and the other. Try something new with societies. I, when I was in Freshers Week, joined Radio Society, 
which radio is always something that I've been interested in, but I've never actually done it. So I tried something new there. And this year, guess who's the station manager, right? Anything could happen, boys. Also, if there isn't a society for you, then you can always start a new society. Me and my mates have just started an extreme ironing society. Okay, again, you could do whatever you want, all right? It is funny and they're all, they're all a good laugh. You can get to try something new, like expand the hobby that you already like doing and meet new people. The society, socials are always a good, good fun. So yeah, definitely join them. That is it from me, laddies and gentlemen. I hope this has helped you uh, and I hope you all have a really good Freshers Week. If you, oh, I might, I might actually react to my Freshers Week video next after this. Oh, that'd be an embarrassing one. Yeah, I might just do it. Let's see, let's see. Uh, let, let me know what you think of that idea. Let me know if you want any more fresh content, uni content, this, that, and the other. I've got a lot planned coming up. So uh, yeah, stick around for that. Make sure you like, subscribe, and drop a comment down below. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.